Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm here. And we're with Gary Electric. And we wanted to show you our demo here because it is just so cool. So this is our demo of the modern control room and it's all powered by our Thin Manager software. So Thin Manager software is uh, two parts. It's really focused on content delivery and Thin Client Management. So what we've got here in this demo, we've actually got three different kinds of Thin Client hardware and none of them have anything on them. They're blank slates. There's no operating system, there's no software installed, there's no maintenance required on those thin client terminals. All the work is being done on a server, which is in the back end of our building over there, and we'll take you there later. So if I need to make any changes to my software to update things, I don't have to go to multiple computers on my plant floor. When I replace those with thin clients, I can now all do that from one centralized location on our server. So in terms of maintenance, upkeep, I mean, you've got solid state stuff here. There's no hard drive that's gonna have any problems and no moving parts like a fan. Um, so what we've got here is we've got a virtual screen set up in the middle. So this is our virtual screen. We're showing an HMI system or a SCADA system here. We've actually got logics up in the top right corner so we can monitor any of the PLCs in our facility. We've got our factory talk analytics for devices, our shelving window there so we can monitor the health and the diagnostics of all the devices on our plant. And then a camera for somewhere else in our building. On these other three screens down here, we've got our HMI system again on a different screen. That's to show you that they're two independent sessions. They're not the same uh, instance here. And we've got a camera overlaid on top. And what's really cool about that, usually if you're trying to uh, integrate cameras into a system, it requires a lot of work. You've got to have, you know, APIs and other things to bring it into your HMI system. This is all done through Thin Manager. It's a few clicks of a button and you're able to overlay a camera or as many cameras or other screens or content onto that screen without editing your original file. You're actually showing a PowerPoint presentation there. And in the other corner, we've got a new infrared camera. So it's a floor infrared camera, and we can monitor the temperature of anything in this room. So if we've got, you know, an industrial data center or something we're concerned about heat, and we want to watch for when the temperature goes above a certain area, we can actually trigger an output to the PLC when that camera goes up to a different temperature. Yeah, and to expand on what Amy's talking about, one of the most powerful features of Thin Manager is its ability to decouple content from the, from the physical source. So we can have multiple server sources, HMI servers, ERP servers, MES servers, and Thin Manager has the capability to bring that content to any particular terminal. Uh, and it can actually bring it based on uh, where that terminal is and who's logged in. So Thin Manager can know who I am and where I am. Uh, and I can uh, log in uh, for my credentials several different ways. I'm gonna use my access card. I can use a traditional method of logging in just with a keyboard, RFID points, or combinations of them. So I might have to have something that, something that I have and something that I know in order to access data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into this terminal here. It's going to know who I am and where I am, and it's going to deliver content to me based on my role and my location. So as soon as I do that, you can see it's, it's uh, changing content. Now it's opened up a work order system. So I could be maintenance personnel. Once I log in, it knows who I am, where I am. It opens up a work order system for that area. Uh, but I can also still access the other content that we were looking at, right? Or additional content. It might deliver different HMI system or MES system content to me based on that. Yeah, that's what's really cool. The content's individual based on the terminal itself. And as Gary mentioned, there's different ways to log in. So I'm just gonna show a different screen there. And I'm gonna log in with a different style of RFID badge. But now in version 11 of Thin Manager, not only can you do biometric logins, so your fingerprints, they've got facial recognition as well, which is just so cool. Not good. <laughs> So when I log in, I'm actually logging in with administrator credentials right now. So you can see I've got the existing content that was on that terminal, and I've got my Thin Manager window here. So we've got a couple videos on our website already that show some of the in-depth of the Thin Manager software. I'm not going to do any of that here, but I wanted to show you the software shows up when I'm logged in with the administrator credentials. So no matter where I am in the facility, if I have multiple Thin clients scattered uh, throughout, when I log in as an administrator, I can edit things through Thin Manager regardless of location. I don't have to be here in the control room. Yeah. And what extends that is the Thin Manager's mobility feature. So as an example, I've got an iPad here. We work with iPad or Android or Microsoft terminals. And uh, currently I'm logged in as, uh, as myself and I have access to the same HMI screen that we were looking at earlier. So I can interact with that HMI screen, changing the screens. I could decide to give myself view only privileges or full access. Um, but what's really neat is with the Thin Manager mobility features, it can actually resolve my location as well. So we do that in a few different ways. We use a couple different resolvers. Typically to resolve my location initially, I'll use something like a QR code. So I can, once I get to a certain area, I'll have no content on here. And once I scan, it knows who I am, it knows where I am. 
and it delivers the content to me. Then we'll use a secondary resolver, usually something like a Bluetooth beacon or Wi-Fi, and do geofencing. So once I get out of that specific area, the system might decide that I no longer have access to that content and just remove it from me. So what I'm going to do here is with the feature of Thin Manager, I'm just going to click Scan ID. I'm going to come over here where we've got a QR code for this room. So it's now going to know who I am and where I am. And it automatically delivers some different content to me. So in this case, I've got some manuals in the form of PDF. They could be drawings, AutoCAD drawings, electrical drawings, all sorts of different things based on my role and where I am. But then I'll still have access to flip back to the HMI screen right from here as well. So I can actually just come in and do that, flip over, and then I've got the HMI access as well. That's just so powerful. I mean, we have so many people that are just using the QR codes and putting them on different panels, on different machinery throughout the building. And if you want to get the as-built drawings or if you want to get the specific program for a PLC, you scan the QR code and away you go for troubleshooting. So why don't we take these guys around to the other room of the building and we'll grab our tablet so you can see mobility on the go. Hey, so now we're in our Hamilton room. Here, you want to show them your tablet? Yeah, so I've still got the same HMI content that I had when I was in the other area, but you can see the drawings and the manual that it provided me, are, it's now automatically removed because the Bluetooth beacon that we had in that area and the geofence that we set up, I'm outside of that area. So it's removed my content but I still have what it accessed earlier. And those are the Bluetooth beacons there. If you're ever in our building, you can see they're scattered throughout and they'll enable or disable content based on where you are. So I'm gonna scan the code in this room. Now that I've scanned the QR codes, you can see that I've got different content on the tablet here. I've actually got a layout of each of the workstations in this room. We host a lot of training events and we have a six workstations in here. They actually have all the same IP addresses and we're doing some networking stuff here with the NAT router to allow them all to communicate together. Yeah, I can see Varun's here. Varun, would you uh, mind grabbing one of the tablets and kind of escorting us down to the staging area, show us some different content and what goes on down there? Absolutely. Hi, how you doing? I'm Varun, and I'm with the Geary Process Group here at Geary Electric. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a background as we walk down the hall here to be able to take a look at our industrial data center, which houses the server that runs the demo that you just saw here with the Thin Manager. Uh, just so for your information, the Geary Process Group provides various other services along the line. Uh, the biggest one is to be able to do uh, project deployment. And that usually starts off with working with the customers and figuring out what their requirements are and just helping them to design their system. Most of the time, a lot of the products get ordered and come get delivered to our staging area here where we're able to unbox them, put the system together, power everything up to make sure it works properly, and the customers are able to come in to be able to do application testing and I.O. testing to ensure that all the bugs are worked out before they deploy their systems on site. In addition to that, we are also able to provide uh, services under the authorized service pro provider programs for our partners, Rockwell Automation, e &H Instrumentation, and Samson Valves. And we are able to provide those on-site services for them, which also allows us to be able to put together coordinated systems that have all the components and to be able to provide end-to-end -end service for all of our customers. Let's go take a look at the staging area. Alrighty, so I see we got a couple jobs on here. We got a couple guys working here. Hey, Paul, how's it going today? Oh, hi, Varun. Hi, my name's Paul. I'm with the Gary Process Group. Uh, so what we're working on today is we're finishing up a uh, customer system. Um, so this is a system we've been working on for a little while now. The, the customer is doing a large upgrade, which consists of the control system and an HMI upgrade as well. So we finished stage phase one, which is a hardware, the control system setup. So we've got the uh, customer coming in actually this week to use this room to do their uh, factory acceptance test, both hardware and software. So we've configured the control system for them, uh, set up all their IO cards, give them some system level diagnostics on their HMI. Uh, and then now we're just working on phase two of the project, which is we've got one of my colleagues here getting the switches ready. So part of this is going to be uh, the next phase, which is an HMI upgrade, which will consist of some virtual images, utilizing Thin Manager. Um, so we're getting those wired up right now. We're getting the Thin clients ready for connecting to the 
uh, virtual infrastructure. Um, so what we're doing on this one is we are going to be hosting the images for the HMI Enfin Manager on our data center. And the customer will be able to come in and test their system right from the HMI right down to the IO in this area. And we're going to be util uh, utilizing our equipment. Hey Paul, the real reason we came down here was uh, I wanted to show everyone uh, our data center and what the, the brains are behind what uh, our demo is and, okay. and the thing manager side. Yeah, we've got our own uh, data center down here in our staging area. So it's, uh, it's something that we utilize for our internal demos as well. So everything you've seen today is running on that system. Um, but we also use it for, um, it's got a number of different servers in it. And uh, what we'll do is a lot of times our customers are doing large upgrades and they're utilizing IT's infrastructure so they don't have the physical servers to set up their system. So what we'll do is we'll use our equipment, we'll set up all the images and test them here and that way the, the customer can have their complete HMI running and when we've got all the everything configured and working then we'll take those images and help the customer deploy them on site. Excellent, thanks Paul, appreciate your time. No problem. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today and coming along our tour from, of our Thin Manager from the front end back in the St. Catharines room all the way to the back end over here in the staging area. If you have any further questions or would like more information or would even like to see our demo in person, feel free to reach out and give us a call.